Hola, how is everyone? I hope good. I am here with Healing Power of Divine Universe. First off, I'm Sunny, and I'm here with a reading on what to expect today. What to expect on Friday, February 12th. What's coming your way? Let's get started here. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you would. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification to be notified when I upload more videos. Hit that like button and share this video if you think others can benefit from my messages. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you'd like to donate to my channel, which would be greatly appreciated too, um, the link is below to my PayPal. So let's get started here. The first card I pulled is Share the Love. So somebody is going to be coming in to share their love with you or you are going to be sharing your love with other people. What a wonderful, beautiful way to start this reading. I love, love, unconditional love towards ourselves and towards others is really the key to happiness, to really being able to live in a society that is just so full of darkness and anger and just disappointment. But if we share our love to ourselves and to others, that really brings in the light. It really brings in the love. So either you will be sharing your love or somebody is coming in to share their love with you. We have guilt. Now the person that might be coming in uh, today might have a lot of guilt from maybe past actions. Maybe they did you wrong. Maybe um, they chose someone over you in a relationship. Maybe it's somebody in your family and they were believing lies and rumors about you. Whatever your circumstances are, somebody is going to have a lot of guilt towards the way they treated you. I feel like it's other people um, having guilt for treating you poorly, for looking at you in the wrong way, for believing lies and rumors, um, for kind of pushing you out, abandoning you, really singling you out in the world. So... Just know that whomever is coming in, they're here to share their love with you, and they have a lot of guilt for what they've done to you in the past. Join in. This is twice. This came out in my last reading. So they're wanting you to join in. Maybe there's a celebration that's going to be happening, and they're wanting you to join in with that celebration. Maybe um, they're on a crusade to, to make some wrongs right. Maybe they need your help to join in to, to make this world a better place, so on. But they're wanting you to join in. Join in on the love. Join in on forgiveness. Join in on making this world a better place for us all to live. We have the solar plexus chakra. And this is found in the pit of the stomach. It is part of the sympathetic nervous system. It plays an important part in the functioning of the stomach kidneys and liver it also can cause insecurity causing you not to be able to create healthy boundaries with others and yourself and can cause you to seek approval from others it also can cause us to have an over domineering personality and at times bully others or even manip manipulate others all of these are signs of your solar plexus chakra being imbalanced by healing your third eye it will improve self-esteem, release the need to control others, and restore a sense of purpose. So make sure that you, you are keeping up with your chakras. The chakras are very important for our everyday well-being, for our everyday interactions with ourselves, with others in the world. If you don't know very much about chakras, please search on YouTube read about it, learn about them. They also have great guided meditations to, you know, balance them, to cleanse them. So I suggest whenever I pull one chakra, I always suggest that my subscribers go ahead and cleanse them all. So if you have time and you're going to meditate, hopefully you are, go ahead and have do a meditation to cleanse your chakras also. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, my throat just went... Whoa. Ooh, justice, balance. So there's going to be justice brought to a situation. There's going to be balance. The scales are going to be balanced in something that you have been going through. If it is an actual legal situation, know that the bail or excuse me that the scales are going to be balanced. Um, I feel that you might have been maybe an injustice has happened to you, and finally the truth has came out. Finally, you're going to 
you know, reap what you have sown. And it's going to be known to those around you. Maybe the people that have kind of shunned you, that have, you know, really looked at you in the, in the wrong light, really have blamed you for things that you weren't responsible for. It is time for that justice to come. And it might be just only universal justice, but there is going to be justice in your situation. And it's going to balance out the scales. We have guilt again. So twice we have guilt. It says, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So if you have any guilt towards a situation, any guilt towards any um, uh, decision that you've made, maybe you had to walk away, maybe you've had to cut out a lot of people out of your life that you just did not feel were serve, you know, serving your highest purpose, did not have the best intentions towards you. Maybe they deceived you, maybe they stole from you, maybe they lied about you and spread rumors, whatever it is, you need to also re uh, release the guilt if you have any for releasing those people around you, for releasing, you know, maybe a life that was holding you down, keeping you stuck in the dark. Whatever your guilt is, you also need to release that along with those that have caused any rush ruckus in your life or, you know, have deceived you or so on. Guilt really needs to be released today. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is just like, whoa, I can hardly breathe. It's crazy. The next card I pulled is going to be the Six of Pentacles. It said that politics is about who gets what, when, and how. This card isn't necessarily about politics, but it is about the haves and the have-nots and the distribution of resources. Someone has what is needed and others have needs. The person holding all the coins is making decisions and judgments about who gets the help they requested. Some may leave satisfied and others may not. Advice. You have the ability to help someone and you should. Furthermore, it would be nice if you did it as kindly and generously as possible. Helping the person retain their dignity. So they're wanting you to definitely, you know, if you have any type of anger, if you have any type of hard feelings, anything towards a person, but they're in need of help. They want you to set that aside. They're wanting you to definitely allow yourself to kind of overlook what you feel about this person. And if you have the means to help someone, it is time to help them. Um, when we help other people, we are rewarded from the universe, obviously, for being a good person, for reaping what we sow. Um, and we're rewarded. Gosh, my throat. I'm sorry rewarded tenfold so you do get more back yes it might take some time to receive that yes it you know maybe that person you don't feel deserves your help but you know to be a kind unconditionally loving person is the answer to each and everything that we go through in life and at times people really need someone's help we have the eight of pentacles and it was in reverse so it's poor workmanship being satisfied with good enough and unfulfilling work. So that could be you or someone in your situation feeling this way. We have strengthening bonds. So today is going to definitely be a day that you're, you, people are going to be sharing their love. You're going to be able to strengthen bonds with people maybe that have been broken, that have been, um, you know, that you maybe you have cut out of your life because they were not treating you properly. We're not showing you love. We're just maybe using you and abusing you. You'll know your your situation. You'll know exactly how to handle it, and you know, and how to to really point out who who deserves to be in your life and who doesn't deserve to be there. We have healing from the past, so maybe the situation is finally coming to a close. Maybe it's been a battle. Maybe it's something that's been going on a long time in your life, and. With it coming to an end, with love coming in, with the guilt being released, and so on, with the justice and the balance, you're going to be able to heal from the past and actually move forward to more positive, healthier things in your life. More love, more happiness, more excitement, more adventure. We have new beginnings. So that's beautiful. That's exactly what I was just saying. You're going to actually have a new beginning. New beginning in the life that you deserve. New beginning in a life that is going to send you down the path that you are meant to be on. New beginning with, you know, the people you love. Maybe new people. Um, a new beginning for yourself and with yourself. We have Five of Swords conflict. 
So I feel there will be a little bit of conflict, but I believe that the conflict is mostly in the past. I believe that this situation has been filled with conflict and it really has probably taken a toll on you. It really has just exhausted you, um, really beat you down, really made you feel just unworthy, um, maybe unloved. Maybe you felt really alone. But with this situation ending and with all of this coming out, it's going to really um, allow you to, to release that conflict when you heal from the past, when you release the guilt, when the justice is served. Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. And that is true. We all need to realize that when we, when we address everything, when we look at a situation, when we're going through a situation, if we just go and have unconditional love throughout it, even if we have anger, disappointment, hate, um, we need to replace that all with unconditional love. And it really will make your situation a lot better. It will make the ending a lot better. And, you know, the the hurt and the pain will be able to, you'll be able to heal from it a lot faster and easier. Definitely. Sometimes it's hard to do that. Sometimes it's hard to, to release that pain and guilt or pain and disappointment. Sometimes it's hard to look at a person and be able to forgive them. But when we have unconditional love towards everything, it makes us, it makes it so much easier for us to do that. So try to really look at every situation you go through with unconditional love always. We have the two of swords. You are facing a decision and you know which is the right choice. And there is a right choice in this situation. However, you are unwilling to let go of the other option, perhaps out of fear or maybe because you simply would prefer the other. Also, your emotions are interfering. Sometimes leading with your heart is best, but this time there is a logical reason. You know you have to choose it, no matter how much you want the other. Advice, procrastination will only make things worse. You can't put this off any longer. Do what you know is true and the right thing. So allow your logic to lead you throughout this day. Kind of make your heart kind of step back and allow your, your logic to, to take over. If you are like me, I am a very, you know, um, person that wears their heart on their sleeve. I really allow my heart to lead me. And at times, it leads me in the wrong directions. It leads me towards people that just, you know, take advantage of me and just step all over me and, and so on. So just allow your logic to really make the decisions for you today. We have love abounds. So love is definitely coming into your life. Love is, is going to be offered to you. Um, if it's not in a romantic sense, it could be in friendships. It could be, you know, love abounds for yourself towards your situation, towards other people. But love is definitely here in this situation. Expect a lot of love coming your way today. Acceptance. So accept the situation. Accept what has happened. Accept what people have done to you. Accept the hard things that we don't want to face in life. And once you do that, you're able to release it and you're able to heal from it and move on. And accept yourself always. We have finances. So with this, I think your finances are definitely going to change. And I think they're going to change in a positive way. I think that you're, you've been struggling financially. Maybe people have taken your money. Maybe people have lied and done things to keep you from money. Um, whatever it is, you're no longer going to struggle with finances. You're actually going to benefit from being an unconditional, loving, good person. And, it, and it's going to show. You're going to you reap what you sow. And you have reaped a lot of things and people have caused a lot of grief and they have a lot of guilt now they're wanting to come in with love they're wanting to make things right and they're wanting to help you rebuild your life so look at it with unconditional love and go forward and go on the path that you're meant to be on victory and success so you're gonna have victory and success today in everything that you do just try to not let your heart lead you in a direction that isn't going to be the best for everyone involved. Maybe people are in trouble with the law. Um, maybe it's your family members. Maybe it's somebody that you were in love with. Maybe it's your own children. Whatever it is, you just you have to allow your heart to step back and to really let your logic lead you on this journey that you're going to be taking because it's going to benefit you in the long run. And I think that it's time for you to think of yourself first and then you can kind of branch out to others but people have to stand up and 
admit when they do things wrong. They have to, you know, deal with the punishments if they've done something illegal. If there's been an injustice, they have to deal with that. That's not up to you to release them from that. That's only up to God to do that. And, of course, if they're in the legal system, then it's up to the legal system. So we have Eight of Pentacles achievement. So you have definitely achieved something that is definitely taking you forward in your life. You have been working hard at something. Um, maybe you have really been fighting a battle that you felt like was never going to win, that you were never going to lose, or that you were never going to benefit from, um, that never was going to turn around in your favor. And I hate to say win because I don't like win or lose, but you, you are going to achieve exactly what your heart has been desiring. Exactly all the hard work that you've been putting in is now going to be coming back and it's going to benefit you in the long run. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So you're definitely going to have balance. That's twice we've had balance come out in this reading. So just know that, you know, the scales are going to be balanced. If, like I said, if it's a situation where people have done you wrong, it's finally going to be balanced. If you need to balance out your, your thought process, the way you look at yourself, the way you look at other people, the way you perceive the world, it's all going to come into balance. And so that's beautiful. The next card I pulled is the Five of Swords. And this is a battle is over, complete with a winner and a loser. Someone is walking away with all the prizes as well as confirmed enemies. Others are walking away with regrets, bad feelings, strong judgments, and probably with a taste for re revenge. Although he may not know it yet, the victor has also lost something valuable, perhaps his honor, integrity, values, or friends. This situation is confused, and that makes it hard to know what to do. Your advice is, if it is too late and the battle happened already, make whatever restorations and moves towards peace that you can. If it hasn't happened yet, try to figure out a better way to resolve the conflict. Heal. So you're going to definitely start to heal from whatever situation you have been in. You're actually finally breaking free of these chains that have bound you for so long, that have held you down and, and made you just feel stuck and maybe unloved and just really just down and out about yourself, about life, about those around you. You finally have broken those chains and now you're able to heal. And that's twice that healing has come up. So that is very important. So that's awesome. We have destiny. So you're definitely going to be moving towards your destiny if it is in love. See these two people? Maybe you have somebody coming in that's going to offer you something in love. Maybe they want to, to have a relationship with you. Maybe they just want to have a friendship with you. Maybe they just want to help you out. But you're definitely moving towards your destiny, and that's beautiful. We have adult children. So if your children are involved in this situation and um, you, you might fear that your children might get in trouble... You might fear that, you know, when we look at our children, do we ever look at them as adults? No, we look at them as children. Maybe you're the adult child that has been, you know, done wrong. Whatever it is, we need to definitely know if, as a, you know, as an adult that we we are children of people, but we are adults and our parents need to look at us that way and so on. If our children are adults, we need to treat them like adults. We need to allow them to be themselves. We need to allow them to make their own choices. Boredom and or discontent and boredom. I feel like you've been in that stage. I think that you have been waiting so long for something to come about with this uh, situation, for something to change in your life, for things to be made right, and so on. I believe that you're walking away from that discontent and boredom. I don't believe that you're going to feel that way anymore. We have death, transformation. So you, you, we're having a transformation of the whole situation. It's transforming into a more positive situation. But I do believe that you went through a transformation and you have changed so much that it was hard for the world to ignore how different you were, what you have to offer, the things that you have really changed about yourself. You going from a cocoon to a beautiful butterfly that really you know, flies out in the world and really shares unconditional love and happiness and joy and all your wisdom that you've gained throughout this situation. We have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So that's really important. You need to know that no matter what has happened in your life, no matter how people have treated you, 
um, whatever people have said about you, whatever, you know, gossip, rumors, lies, that you are able to definitely face them. You're able to, to face them with courage, with your head held high. You're able to to move towards where you want to go, to meet your goals, to meet your, you know, your life path, and to, to really move forward and to move forward to a new life, a new goals, new aspect of whom you are and what you are going to provide yourself, what you're going to provide out to the world, how you look at the world. And you can do anything and everything that you set your mind to. You can achieve all and everything that you desire. And we all need to remember that. Even when other people tell us, well, that's silly. You know, that's how do you think you're going to be able to do that? Or, you know, why would you think that would be a good, you know, career for you to choose? Or why would you choose that person? How do you know that that person's going to be good to you? And, and so on. I mean, people can be so negative and just really daunting and just really make us feel like shit and that we can't accomplish what we want. But the thing is, is we need to block all that out. We need to block this f from our ears. We need to allow ourselves, our heart, our mind, and our souls to really speak to us, to really guide us and know that if we want to achieve something, we can achieve that with no problem. And then the last card I pulled is the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands may be a young person or may be inexperienced at a task they are considering undertaking. He has discovered or rediscovered something that flames the fire of his passion and is eager to rush in to learn and experience all he can. His enthusiasm is strong and courageous, so others are willing and eager to support him. His confidence may be more developed than his skill, although he doesn't always understand that. The advice is listen to that inner excitement and courageously take on that new task. Start that new journey. What are you waiting for? Adventure beckons. So th th somebody that's younger than you might be coming in to, to offer you something. Maybe they have a job offer. Maybe they're wanting to start a new business with you. But that page will be coming in with a message. And a message, it could be in love. It could be in, you know your career, it could be in finances, or you could be that page and they're telling you, don't be afraid, go straight forward, you know, take on that, that adventure that you, that you want, because it's calling you, it's calling your name and it's wanting you to move down that path. So that is what I have for Friday, February 12th on what to expect today. It seems like it's going to be a pretty awesome day. It's definitely going to, to balance out your life. Truth is coming out. You're going to have to have lots of forgiveness. You're going to have to release guilt. And those around you have to do that also. But it's going to allow you to heal and really transform into the beautiful butterfly that you are meant to be. That you are meant to show the world. And people will really start to look at you in that light instead of the dark light they were before. So that's what I have. So I hope it resonated with everyone. I hope everyone has a beautiful, loving day. I'm sending so much unconditional love. So many positive vibes and peace to each and every one of you. Take care and I'll check you on my next video. Lots of love.